Welcome back friends, welcome to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this video, we are going to talk about a very interesting and crucial concept that many people don't understand and that is the difference between a punctuated equilibrium and gradualism. So both punctuated equilibrium and gradualism are hypothetical uh, theories. Those theories are going to explain uh, the process of evolution. So we can explain the process of evolution with punctuated equilibrium, we can explain the theory of evolution using the gradualism. But which is true, which is not, we don't know, but we are going to explain what are the difference between the punctuated equilibrium and gradualism. So there are these two models. Let's first understand what this model stands for. Let me take a color for here. And here you can see to understand the model, uh, uh, you need to understand two things here. There are these vertical lines and there are these horizontal lines. Okay, The vertical line means time and the horizontal line means morphology. This thing you should remember. Vertical line is time, horizontal line is morphology. So whenever you say like this is time, morphology, time, morphology, time, morphology like that. Okay, It continues like that. So here you can see that this is uh, phyletic gradualism and this is punctuated equilibrium and what we are going to see. In gradualism, you can see it looks like a natural tree, generally a tree shaped structures, right? So there is no proper dot structure like that. So when we draw something like time and then morphology, time, morphology, time, morph like that. So this is like something straight ahead which we can see in punctuated equilibrium which is missing in the gradualism. So in gradualism, it's like a tree, like an organic structure, like an organic structure, like, like that. Okay. So what happens is that in gradualism, the name suggests it idea, the idea that evolution occurs at a slow but steady pace, slowly, slowly acquired changes over a long period of time and the process works always, always. So that means as per gradualism, the evolution is always going on in very slow rate for a long period of time. While in punctuated equilibrium suggested that the most of the time species are stable but every now and then there is a disruptive event that prom prompts a rapid change in the population, that prompts a change in the species and that's how new species come to existence and that's how the evolution occurs. So gradualism says that the change is slow for a long period of time, natural process. But in case of punctuated equilibrium, it states that for a long period of time, see this is the time, for a long period of time there is no change, sudden morphological change. So for a long period of time, no change, sudden morphological change. Again, no change and there may be a sudden morphological change. So that is punctuated equilibrium. This is a simple definition of both gradualism and punctuated equilibrium. Now let's look at the difference and some properties and the difference of the properties that we know of. You see the phyletic gradualism, as I mentioned, that gradualistic approach of evolution means slowly the evolution is going on all the time, always evolution is going on right now, every single moment of life. Okay, And it brings small variations to a particular species over a long period of time, over a long, long period of time. While in punctuated equilibrium, it emphasizes consistent and cumulative changes to a species. Okay, but the change is disruptive event rapid. The change is rapid due to a disruptive event. Due to a disruptive event. Rapid change due to disruptive event. Okay. So let's say for a long time, as you see, this is a long time there is no change in the population, a sudden change. So occurs within a short time span. Time span is short. In case of phyletic gradualism, time span is long. Okay. The process of gradualism is a very slow process. The process of punctuated equilibrium, this also takes time, but the exact moment where the morphology changes is fast, fast paced. Now the most important concept between the gradualism and punctuated equilibrium is that in gradualism, we do not have any fossil records, but we have fossil records to back our data for punctuated equilibrium. Okay, So fossil records that we have in our hand is it proves that uh, some examples, some fossils are there with minor changes between themselves for a long period of time if we carbon date them. And then suddenly we found out some species whose properties are almost 
80 percent 90 percent different from the existing ones so that kinds of back the data about the punctuated equilibrium so that's the difference between both the slowly acquired gradual changes of phyletic gradualism as well as sorry stick phyletic gradualism as well as the difference between the punctuated equilibrium okay so that's the idea about the difference between punctuated equilibrium and gradualism both of them explains how new species produce both of them explains the evolution but we have more proof as a fossil uh, with the help of the fossil proof for punctuated equilibrium than that we have for the gradualism okay so that's all about the difference between gradualism and punctuated equilibrium if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more and more videos like that in future because it's going to help you thank you